I wasn't even gonna make a video because um, as you can see my face is all broken out um, and I said to myself oh my god who's gonna wanna you know look at me like that but then I said you know everybody's going through this I'm not the only person that's getting stress pimples right I'm not the only person that's uh, you know, making cookies and stress eating like it's my job, you know, we're all, we're all in this together. And uh, these are very strange times to be alive. <laughs> this is a very strange period in our history. Um, I don't think that any of us ever thought we'd see something like this in our lifetime, uh, you know, let alone something so strange. <laughs> this is, you know, bizarre. So um, what better time to return to some Journal to Bliss, right? What better time to, to bring these thoughts that you're having um, to the front and really looking at you, you know, because <clears throat> in the end of this all, we are all going to be different. Even if it doesn't hit you, even if it doesn't directly um, have an effect on your family, which is by the looks of it going to be pretty, you know, rare. It seems like this is going to pretty much affect somebody we know in some way, but you're going to be different. You're going to come out of this different. You're going to look at things different. You're going to have different views on what to buy. You're going to have different views on where you're going to spend your money. You're going to have different views on, you know, schooling for your children and taking care of your health. Um, this is going to change you. So I wanted to bring this element into what I'm doing lately. Um, to be honest, I went a long time without writing this winter and, uh, my priorities were just different, um, on a spiritual level, not saying they were right. I'd look every single night, I'd go into my bedroom and I'd look up at the journal and the box that I keep my pens in and I'd say, Ugh, not tonight, Ugh, not tonight. Oh, not tonight. And I just didn't. I just didn't. Um, but about a month ago, I hit a really dark place, I guess. You know, not like crippling depression, but I was very tired. My, I could feel my body not agreeing with me, not agreeing with what I ate, not agreeing with what I was doing. I was sore, I was achy, I just didn't feel good all winter, you know. So I I started writing and within uh, at first I wrote like one day at the beginning of February and it felt good. Like it felt good. I wrote like three or four pages. I woke up the next day, I was like, ah, oh, I feel so refreshed, you know. And then I didn't write again. I don't know why. So then in the middle of last month, I picked up the pen and the journal and I started writing and I've written every single night since then, except for two or three nights. And those nights that I didn't write were either migraines or, you know, if I was like just too tired. So it was probably three nights. I can, I can tell you for sure. <clears throat> and it has completely changed everything. Um, I'm enjoying going outside. I'm enjoying things again. I'm enjoying creating again. I'm, you know, really 
back into a, a, a swing, you know, back into a groove here. And I do have some things coming up for Journal to Bliss. First of all, I bought a book online, and it's actually not a book. It's like a course in the form of a book. So I am going to go through that, and that's probably going to take a while. But I am definitely going to be doing a review on that and letting you know if I think it's something you should do, even if you're not a writer, even if you are just an artist of some sort. This book seems to be pretty good. So you have that to look forward to. <laughs> and, you know, I have some exercises that I've been doing that I thought I'd share with you. But I want to talk to you about how I'm using this pandemic in my, in my artistic life. Um, First of all, I'm looking at a lot of things. Hold on, my screen just went dark. I'm looking at a lot of things from a totally different view. I'm like, uh, I'm more grateful for weird little things now. You know, I'm grateful to be baking and I'm grateful to be eating some really good food. And I've been writing about that, you know, and I'm grateful to be spending this time with my children. Um, Lily is out of school and she is very, very helpful. She is super helpful. You know, she helps in the yard. She helps in the kitchen. She helps with her sister. She helps with everything there is to help with. Lily helps. So that has been put into my gratitude lists every night, you know, because every time I write, I write a gratitude list. And um, I'm also grateful that I'm not alone. I'm going to tell you right now. I love seeing people getting together online and playing games and doing things, you know, with people they probably wouldn't do that stuff with if there wasn't a pandemic, you know? <clears throat> so that's been going into my gratitude. And I've been writing out, logging this illness. You know, my state right now has around 1,500 cases and blah, 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 and eight people are dead. And today, the first two cases were confirmed in my county. And, you know, so now it's like home. It's hit home today. Um, you know, so I'm really logging it because... Someday my grandchildren are not going to believe this. Someday we're going to have to like explain this to the world. Hey, this is what happened. You know, my daughter's first year of kindergarten, she missed half of her school year because of some crazy freaking virus going around, you know? So um, I am tracking how this is going and I'm tracking how it's making me feel. I'm tracking how it's, affecting my family and how it's affecting me. Um, I wouldn't say I'm panicked. I wouldn't say that I'm driven by fear. Um, I'm not losing sleep, but the stress of it is real, you know? And uh, I really hope that you're not panicking and I hope that the fear's not driving you. I hope that you can find something good about it but i will be back i'll be back with more stuff so ta-ta for now <laughs>